guys, uh, I'm not gonna lie, for this video, it kind of screwed up a little bit. We're still gonna be able to do the test. It's just gonna be in a different way. Now, in yesterday's video, I showed you uh, something, and I said that I would show you a little bit further in today's video, but basically what happened is, th this is a barbecue line that I had installed on my RV, and it came out right here. And that line was for barbecue use. And so what I really wanted to do with the buddy heater that I have is I didn't want to mess around with the one pound propane tanks. I didn't want to mess around with like a like an extra propane tank that you bring into your RV. You're actually not supposed to do that. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to connect my buddy heater to my 30 pound propane tanks that are already in the RV. These propane tanks, because then it just makes it simple. You've already got propane in the RV. If you can access it, then you can just hook into your buddy heater. So I have some footage a few days ago that I shot of me getting this line into the RV. And I'll show you that right now. What we're doing right now is we're taking my my uh, barbecue uh, connection that used to be right here, and we're actually gonna bring it up through, uh, right past my generator. You can see the, the wire, or the, uh, the hose back there. And we're actually gonna run it into the RV. Beautiful. But here comes the problem. This fitting right here is actually not indoor safe. This quick connect fitting is not indoor safe. So this is supposed to be used outside, which I did not know. Uh, I, I talked to an RV tech and I read some comments and some of you guys were saying, which I'm sure you know more than I do about this, is that the propane on the RV goes through a regulator and something about the pressure doesn't match up with hooking it up to a buddy heater because the buddy heater ne needs a certain amount of pressure. Now the buddy heater will hook up to one pound canisters that you can buy in, in the shopping store alongside the buddy heater, but they also hook up to your propane tank. But I've been reading some comments, the way the propane travels from point A to point B in the RV is not the same, the pro same way the propane travels from the propane tank straight into the buddy heater. So I need to do a little bit more research on all of it because I don't feel safe with the way I've got it all hooked up right now. I'm still gonna do the test, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring one of my full 30 pound propane tanks out here and I'm gonna hook it directly to this. And I'm gonna set it right beside me on high for about four to five hours and I'm going to see how much propane that uses. Now, the reason that doesn't really matter, I mean, this could be burning in a cold temperature or a warm temperature. It's burning the same amount of propane it would be anywhere. So I can set this anywhere, turn it on high, and just get a good read of what this is gonna burn over the next few hours. And then with my second 30 pound propane tank, uh, they're both full, by the way. They're both completely topped off. I am going to go and turn my furnace on high. It's about minus one to zero right now Celsius and I'm gonna run that for the same amount of time I run my buddy heater. And I think that we're gonna get a good test on, and a good read of how much propane each uses. Now there are other factors that I was going to test, but I'm just not going to today. Number one is humidity, and number two is the battery used for the furnace. Now, I'm not gonna be testing either of those because there's just so many variables. My batteries aren't charged right now. It would mean that I have to go fully charge them, fully plug them in. I'd have to go buy a, a battery monitor. I'd have to go buy a humidity monitor. And so today I'm just gonna be testing the propane. So if you came here for anything else, uh, this isn't the video for you, but if you're just curious, I mean, yeah, you can probably read about it and mathematically figure it out. But for me, I just like to visually see it. So I'm gonna test my furnace and my buddy heater, and in about four or five hours, I'm gonna take those two propane bottles, one used for the buddy heater, one used for the furnace, and I'm gonna go fill them back up at Costco. And I'm just curious to see what the difference is. Yes, there's lots of variables in this that I'm not gonna be able to really control, nor do I, to be honest, really care. I just wanna see the general sense of it. So that is today's video. If you're not interested in it, I totally get it. Uh, but if you are interested in it, like me, let's, uh, let's try it out. So another neat test with this, with the buddy heater aside, it'll just be neat to see how much propane my furnace uses in this kind of climate in, uh, in four or five hours. It'll be really neat. So I'm gonna go hook my buddy heater up and then we'll start both at the same time. I'm gonna crack some vents in here because if you were running the buddy heater in here, you would have some, uh, some vents cracked. And I want this furnace to run as much as possible to, to make it a real test. So I'm gonna crank the furnace up and then I'm gonna crank the buddy heater up. All right, so we will attach. One end to the propane, touch this end to the, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the buddy heater, there's a little fitting right there. So I'll attach this end to that. All right, so that is in the high position. Now let's go turn the furnace on. 
And I'm gonna put that to as high as it goes. Oh wow. Which is 100 Fahrenheit. And nothing else is on in my RV. So my water heater's not on, my fridge isn't sipping any propane. Nothing is on other than my uh, furnace set at 99. All right, so it's all going. This is on. And I am going to tell you it's 12.52. I'm also gonna set a timer. And, oh, it already started. Perfect. So now there's nothing to do but uh, just wait a few hours. Hang out with the beautiful snow. I could build a snowman. I could build a snowman. I've been talking about building a snowman in my last couple of videos, and I haven't yet. The snow is perfect for it. If you're just curious about the test results, I'll put where to skip forward to right here. But the guy who runs this place is going around right now clearing snow with a bobcat. So if I make a snowman, I might just be lucky enough for him to come and demolish it with a bobcat, which would be pretty cool. That is the creepiest snowman I've ever made. Now, for my subscribers, I've almost got the last of the product. The only thing to show up is beer cozies. So if you're waiting to get beer cozies, they uh, should be here within the next couple days, maybe even today. But I wanna show you the last of the product in case you're interested. So first, as you can see, I've got the uh, Live in the Dream. I've got beanies. I've got the military green and the black. It's got my logo right here and it's a nice plaid blanket. Now it's not like a full body blanket, but it's perfect for just sitting by the fire if you're interested. You know what I mean? Sitting by the fire, cover your legs. Perfect, eh? And I love the color. It is approximately four feet by five. And then the last thing that I just got, which is my absolute favorite, and it was the uh, the secret or the surprise. <laughs> I have this little teddy bear wearing a little orange hoodie that says live in the dream, camper life, and the hood comes on and off. It, sadly, it would have made a perfect, perfect teddy bear for, uh, for Valentine's Day. I just didn't get them in time. But if you wanted to do a belated Valentine's uh, Day, <laughs> one of these, they're super soft. Rebecca's gonna love one of these. And uh, the, the little hoodie comes on and off. <laughs> little camper, little camper teddy bear. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, it's been a really big learning curve for me. It's been very interesting. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's been a ton of fun. And I, I just wanna thank you so very, very much. I've kinda learned what you guys want. For anyone who pre-ordered the large, large shirts, uh, I, I've got those coming very soon, so I'll send those out to you. And uh, I'll still keep the store open. I'll ju I just kind of know what to buy and what not to buy. I've got some stock that hasn't really sold, but uh, just want to thank you guys so much for the support. I really do appreciate it, and, uh, and it's awesome. Oh, and I forgot, we have to demolish the snowman. <laughs> said now let's go to the test results <laughs> <laughs> so it has been five hours exactly I'm gonna uh, shut this buddy heater off shut the furnace off and I'm gonna head to Costco fill them both up hopefully they're open tonight if not fill them up tomorrow morning <laughs> All right guys, this is the next morning. I just went and filled my propane tanks up and the reading for my furnace was in five hours my furnace burned 4.4 liters, which at Costco right now is $2.96. So that alone is extremely interesting. Also another interesting factor was I had my thermostat set to 99, but at the time it was zero Celsius outside and it never got above 76. So just kind of interesting. Once again, that was with two vents open in here. And for the buddy heater, I went to go fill the tank up. It was inconclusive because it wouldn't even take any propane. There was that minimal amount of propane used that the machine didn't even register it. So what I'm gonna do is on the box, buddy heater says that uh, it'll go through one of these in three hours on high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
times the fluid in here by two, and then just take an hour off and that should give us a good reading. All right, so it says that the propane in here, 16 ounces, which in turn is 0.47 liters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times that by two equals 0 0.94 divide by six times five equals. So in five hours, the buddy heater used 0.78 liters. If my math is correct, the buddy heater is 82% more efficient than the furnace. So whatever you want to do with those numbers, be my guest. I'll put them in the description below. You can figure out what your furnace burns per hour if you feel like it. Kind of interesting to know how efficient your buddy heater is. Anyways, my friends, have an amazing Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Keep living that dream. Until next time, bye-bye.